So much of our, our medical training is rooted in diagnoses and knowing what to do on a medical level. But once you get experience in providing care to people, you realize that there's such a human side to what we do. Cincinnati Children's is a large and complex institution that can sometimes feel overwhelming. But some of the things that set us apart are simple. We demonstrate value for safety, respect and professionalism, quality, and the patient-family experience in our everyday actions. And we invite you to join us in making the world a healthier place for kids. I'd like to welcome you to Cincinnati Children's, and we're delighted that you'll be joining us. So one thing about Cincinnati Children's is it has a very special culture. And I'd like to introduce you to some of the people who can help you understand what's so special about that culture and also help you understand how you can get incorporated into it. At Cincinnati Children's, we want each family to have the best experience possible. It's the reason why the vast majority of us in this hospital have gone into healthcare, is to engage with our patients and families, to make a meaningful difference for them. Interactions with patients and families are the results of a lot of aspects of the culture that we are trying to instill and we have here at Cincinnati Children's. And it's deeply rooted in how we take care of each other because not only is it better for you as, an, as a provider, as an employee, but it has a direct effect on what our patients and families experience each and every day. Certainly eye contact is key, getting down to their level, actually taking time to connect with both the patient as the child and the parents as well. Uh, we really have a unique uh, aspect of pediatrics in that we have multiple audiences and multiple people that we need to connect to. So sitting down, looking them in the eye, showing them that you are there for them, that your time, no matter how busy you may be throughout the day, your time is with them. So it's a combination of both the body language and then also the words that you use in order to establish that connection. Our culture of safety is one of the strongest in pediatric health care. One of the core things about safety here is that everybody gets it that we want to keep our patients safe and our families safe, but it's also including ourselves. You often have instincts, insights that something may be going a little bit askew, it doesn't quite make sense. You need to be comfortable enough to speak up about that. The flip side of that is that people need to be listening up, pausing, stopping, hearing what people are saying, perhaps even drawing out things from them when they're not quite clear on what they're worried about. In addition to speaking up about what's potentially not going right, if you have a better idea how to do things, we'd encourage you to share that as well. One example of the way we support a culture of safety is in our process of handing off patient information. And I think it's important to recognize that handoffs are not just about communicating from physician to physician. It's really important that all members of the healthcare team are involved in that handoff, such that we're having a multidisciplinary discussion and that everyone has the same shared mental model in order to make sure we're providing comprehensive and safe patient care. We're also committed to making quality improvement part of our cultural fabric. This is sort of the Disney world of hospitals. We have the imagination to think beyond what people do every single day. We push the limits. We think about what can be, not what we currently do. Everybody wants to do the right thing, but how do we measure what we're doing so that we actually don't just feel like we're doing a better job, but we know that we're doing a better job and we see numbers that are improving and lives that are being saved. One of the best things that we can do is ask the people who do the work. What do you think we can do a little bit differently? People have amazing ideas, and here at Cincinnati Children's, we want to tap into those. And if we fix those things, we can free everybody up to focus on what really matters, and that's taking care of our patients and our families and each other. We expect the behavior of people who work at Cincinnati Children's to be professional and respectful. I think it begins with you. As an individual, you have to respect yourself first. We want you to listen, we want you to be truthful, we want you to be honest with the families, we want you to communicate well, we want you to make sure that your way of postures and eyes and the way you interact with people is in an open, respectful format that I'm pretty sure you will expect the same thing if you happen to come here with your family and your children to be careful. It's not anymore a message that you need to do as a cliche. It becomes, if I am not doing this, I'm not part of this culture. As a matter of fact, sometimes may have to be rewarded by saying, wow, the way you talk to this family was so nice, and they're gonna look at you, well, isn't that what we're supposed to do? The Cincinnati children's culture may be different than other healthcare environments, but it's different by design. We want those who provide care here to see what makes us stand apart from the others and adopt our standards. I hope this video has helped you understand what a very special culture we have here at Cincinnati Children's. 
And I hope too that you'll be able to take that culture with you as you go forward to practice here or elsewhere. Thank you for listening.